Hello, I'm Chase Carrington, and I am going to show you how to create a logo in Pixelmator. Now, Pixelmator is a very cool software that can be used for graphic design, editing photos, among many number of other projects. And today I'm going to try creating a logo in it. I've got my little shapes window open over here. Now, I just want to mention that I've had Pixel later for just a little while now. And I don't know every in and out of the system of the system, but I did cr I have I have created a logo so far. So I, so I've created a logo before, but I think I'll start from scratch and I want to do something for my mom's social media business. She's thinking maybe she'll just market to car dealers. What would make you think of cars in social media? So I'm thinking maybe a little cloud here. I don't know. Yeah, a little cloud. And maybe a gear in the middle. Now, I want to change the um, texture and color of this gear. Maybe something that'll um, clash a little bit more with the white cloud. Maybe. Choose what type of one I like is metal right here. Pretty cool. And I would like to make the background maybe something different. How about a blue? Wait a moment. Just get so I can oops move this down. I could choose a color. Maybe a nice sky blue. Let's see. Now if you have this problem, it's just because of the layers on top of your shapes or whatever. And another thing is is that if you want to keep these two together is one shape then you shift click shift and click another object then you right click and go to the bottom and it says merge layers you should merge those layers and then you can move these as one object also let's make it a little bit larger that because especially depending on your application of the logo or it's a website or not the logo really won't be that big on a website normally that's why it's a slightly low it's not a very high resolution when I blow it up so then you've got this logo right here and Maybe I can make it better. What do you think could make it better make 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 you think of cars? And then if you always want to add like a new image, you could always press import shape. And then you can create your own shapes or import any shapes you'd like. I've got a, an idea here. We go back and unmerge these, or maybe what if I add like to, why don't we add another gear wheel?
So then if you add this, if you add more of these gear wheels, you can make it look more mechanical. Very interesting little cloud photo. And why don't we represent going places? Maybe add something like this. But of course, I don't think the metal color suits it so much. Why not more of an orange gradient color? Then makes you think of going places. Then if you create a new object, it will use the previous color. And if you want to shift the angle and the movement of the metal, you can use the little blue dot. Actually, what if we want to add a computer to it? Maybe not exactly metal. Whoops. Let's try to try something different. A black outline of a computer. So. If you make any mistakes, what I like to do is Command Z, which will undo your last action. Then, as I presented before, if you have the problem of um, a layer coming in front, you just move your your selected shape in front or behind your selected object. Well, I don't think it has enough gears, so let's add a few more gears. And there you go. That is how you create a logo in Pixelmator. Let's see, just create one more gear. Now, if you want to, you can always go to File, and then you can choose to save it, save it, and choose to rename it, or name it if you haven't named it yet. Then you can always add um, tags and choose your location. Like if you want on another device, you can put it on iCloud Drive or Dropbox or whatever thing you select. And you can also choose, especially if you're uploading to a website, what format you'd like. Like if you want to save a copy as a JPEG to upload to your website. Then you press save and it should do as you tell it to. Well, that's pretty much it. That's how to make a simple logo, at least, in Pixelmator. I'm not an expert, but this is how I've done it before. And 
Hope to see you soon on another video about Pixelmator. Thank you for watching.